Hello friends. Today we're back at Ramapo Reservation looking for the Ramapo rock shelter that we couldn't find the last time. So I've done some research and I remembered that the reason I was out here last time, 11 years ago, was I was geocaching. So I found the geocache log from when I was out here and found that rock shelter. I've got the GPS coordinates and now I know hopefully exactly where it is. We were very close last time, like within two tenths of a mile, but we just came up short. But now with our better intel, we'll give it another try. We're back at those ruins that we made it to the other day when we were searching for the rock shelter. And now we've got uh, my son and my friend's daughter here and they're exploring it. It extends, there's a second building out there. Explored it a lot more in our previous video, but it's definitely worth including now. We're just uphill of the ruins that I showed you before. Just a little bit uphill, and now we're going to head east, about two-tenths of a mile off the trail. And hopefully, we'll run into the rock shelter. All right, good news. Pretty sure we're walking up on it. I see the rock wall. All right. We gotta back up for you to see the whole thing. It's good to be back. It's been 10 years since I've been here. We'll give it a good, more thorough examination today. But let's just walk in real quick. Looks like some folks have been here. We got some wood lined up. And you can see it's a very big natural shelter. A big enough, I'm six foot three. I can stand in here. No problem. I think you can get a few folks in here. Let's check out what we can see here. Yeah, you can tell that some folks have built a little fire here in the past, not too far, too long ago. Here's the view from the other side. You can see it's gotta be about 30 feet high. There's my son up there. How is it up there, Owen? It's nice. I think I'll go up on top of the rock also, see the view. Okay, we're up on top now of the shelter. Climbed up here, it wasn't difficult. I think we're about, I don't know, 25 feet or so above the entrance, which is right down there. From the top here, you have a really good view of everything around. Of course, in this time of year, you can't see too much through all the foliage. Winter time, you certainly can, which was the last time I was here. Standing on the side of it now, of course, these, these branches are from some local folk <laughs> not too long ago, I'm sure, but get a view. Let's see if we can't get a nice view into the shelter from here. Well, there you have it, folks. A rock shelter after 10 years. I feel pretty good to be back. So we we're just talking and I mean, our best guess is, you know, the, the glaciers just sort of set up these massive boulders this way. You know, coincidence, very good coincidence for anyone walking by hundreds or a thousand years ago and needed a shelter. And the evidence is some local folk are still using this for some fun based on the little branches and stuff we see here. Uh, we didn't go digging around or anything inside. Um, I don't know if there's anything in there and I would just leave it if there was uh, no drawings or anything like you would see out west. I don't know if you would ever see that in the Northeast anyway, pictographs or you know whatever. Anyway, nice, mission accomplished.